Hello everyone, I want to talk about the shin splint. I prepared a new presentation for you. The shin splints occur when the muscles and bones in the lower part of the leg pull and tug at their insertion on the shin bone, the tibia, and it becomes inflamed, inflame irritated, and swollen and painful. Athletes often have shin pain because they put repeated stress, stress on the shin bone, muscles, and connective tissues. Uh, the wear uh, them uh, say that the Shin splints, medial tibial stress syndrome, which is a more accurate name. And what's uh, affected by the shin splint? Uh, the shin splint affected the people who have the flat feet, high acre, uh, arcs, or very rigid arcs. In this situation, your muscles and bones may not absorb or distribute force from impact and loading activities as well. And uh, people who wear uh, unsportive shoes when exercising and walking extreme distance, uh, anyone with underlying vitamin D deficiency, uh, eating disorders, or loss of normal men's, individuals with uh, osteopenia or osteoporosis who may already have weaker bones, and we saw there in the video the kinesio taping. Stretch the tape 50% as you apply a long shin. Remove the backing paper and lay the end down with no stretch. Make sure that you have covered the painful area. Twist and tear the backing paper down the middle. Remove backing paper but leave ends to hold. Stretch tape to 75% and apply over the most painful area. Lay each end down with no stretch. Repeat the previous step as many times as needed to completely cover painful area. Twist and tear the backing paper down the middle. Remove backing paper, but leave ends to hold. Stretch tape to 75% and apply over the painful area. Lay each end down with no stretch. The pain from shin splints can be severe, and is your body's way of warning you that something has gone wrong. Utilize strength tape to help relieve the associated pain and speed recovery. Please remember to visit a healthcare professional for evaluation. Start with your front foot elevated 4 to 8 inches off the ground by using a step, plate, curb, or some other object. Drive your front knee toward the wall in front of you until you can't lower yourself down any further. If it's too challenging, use your hands to help with balance. Exercise number two is a single leg RDL with knee drive. Stand on one leg while keeping a slight bend in both knees. Hinge at your hips until your trunk is almost parallel with the ground and then bring your knee up toward the ceiling. Repeat this movement without touching your back foot to the ground. Once again, if this is too challenging, use your hands to help with balance. Exercise three is focusing on plantar flexion. Stand at the edge of a step on one leg, rise up on the ball of your foot as high as you can, and then lower yourself down until you feel a stretch in your calf. If this is too challenging, use two legs or start on flat ground. For the first three exercises, aim for three sets of six to 15 challenging repetitions at a controlled pace and add weight as needed. Exercise number four is focusing on dorsiflexion. Sit on a bench with your ankle hanging off the edge, attach a band or weight to your foot, and bring the top of your foot toward your face. Aim for three sets of 20 to 25 repetitions at a controlled pace. Exercise number five is a standing fire hydrant. Stand on one leg with a band around your knees, spread the band by separating your knees, and remain as still as possible. Aim for three sets of 30 to 45 second holds per leg. You can also perform non-weight bearing exercises such as leg extensions and leg curls if weight bearing exercises are not how are shin splints diagnosed? The diagnosis shin splint by obtaining it through history and by examining you. Your doctor will look at your gait, how you walk, examine your lower leg, ankle and foot. A complete exam will involve moving your ankle and foot around. The feeling for tenderness along the bone. 
and standing on the painful leg or hopping on on that the leg may help to diagnose if shin splint or a stress fracture may be present and uh, the doctor ordered the um, get some x-ray uh, diagnosis for uh, and magnetic resonance imagination uh, imagining mri or bone scan and this test allow your doctor to see if the shin splint has become a stress fracture because these types of tests pick up that injury before an x-ray what are the treatments for shin splints? What we use for the treatments um, for the shin splints? Uh, we use the kinesio taping, and I show you the video uh, kinesio tape. And I want to one more video. Uh, I want to show you what I treated and kinesio tape method. Uh, it uh, it will be clearly for you. And uh, treatments method is the rest, ice pain relievers, supplements, slow increase in activity activity level, sportive shoes and shoe inserts, physical therapy and I want to explain this one. The rest, take a break from sports running and other activities to give your muscles and bones a change to recover. You may need to rest and take it easy for a few weeks or longer. And uh, pain relievers, uh, we know that the uh, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs uh, and uh, supplements, uh, vitamin D3 supplements may help. and slow increase in activity level when when you do become uh, active again start slowly increase your activities gradually uh, to reduce the risk of shin splints returning and physical therapy therapy can be helpful especially with assistance returning to uh, running Our patient has pain symptoms localized in the posterior medial tibial crest, located in a specific area. We'll apply some hypofix tape directly to the symptomatic area. Then we will apply some McConnell tape that will fold directly over the painful area. We'll apply a second strip that will pull on the soft tissues directly over the painful area, creating local support. The more restrictive taping for the periostitis will first be done by applying a layer of glue. Some pro wrap. And then some white tape with superior medial tension on every strip. It's important to keep the ankle at 90 degrees during the taping. The tension will vary from person to person depending on the comfort and the importance of the support needed. And we can wrap once more for some added resistance. short segment will help you with the follow-up of your running patients.